Hey guys, it's Sergio, and uh, I know in the last video I said uh, this would prob last video would probably be the last video on this channel before I switch to the other and tell you guys that I switched to the other. But uh, I did a bunch of stuff today. I finished cleaning up my workshop. It was really messy. I don't want to get into that. Um, and if you if you guys remember my triple shot, well, I worked on my triple shot a lot between today and last night, and um, I'm just gonna show you guys. So. Yeah. Basically, chopped off the front. It's flush. I just gotta sand it all down. Um, kept this in for a screw port, and I might attach halves of PVC and maybe like a CPVC one over there. I'm not sure yet. Um, for RSCBs, which is basically what this blaster will be for, and I'll probably have an elbow just coming out of here, and I might put that straight onto the uh, front of the plunger tube. But, um, yeah. Um, I epoxy put it to catch, epoxy put it the hell out of it because it was broken, and uh, I got it, I haven't sanded it down. Oops, this is I just took the pliers off, which I used as clamps, with some electrical tape around the handle. But yeah, so I epoxy putted it. I got some of that groove up there, and this is how it looked in the blaster. So yeah, that side, and right down there is where the torsion spring would go on. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, nothing special, just a little epoxy putty work. I like working with epoxy putty because you can sand it. But yeah, included in the, it's in the down position, so I won't have to worry about that. So I'll be putting that back in here, maybe tonight after I sand it. Um, but yeah, uh, stock spring, and I think it's a long shot spring, so this it hits pretty hard for triple shot. But I still got to do the seal, and uh, basically what I'm gonna be doing is get taking that one one and a half inch washer I believe it is and um, I'm just gonna drill through the front right in the middle of the plunger head and I'll probably leave the gasket on there and then I'll get a, a metal washer put that on the front well no in front of the washer once it's in there and then stick a bolt through there and then hopefully that'll do me some justice so I have a really good seal on here and then like I said the RSCBs and then I'm hoping to um, get a stock on here I might just do a PVC stock but I'm thinking of doing one that goes back and then, um, how was it? Yeah, I think it was just straight back and then like angled down to the handle. So I might do something like that. I want, I don't want it to be, you know, all the way up here, but I don't want it to be like right here either. Cause I'm, I'm cool with that. I mean, it's comfortable, but I just rather have a little extra stability. And then with the RSCV, I want to have one on this side and then it'll come off here and then just straight into the back of the blaster and we held on by the zip ties or whatever and then I want to get a have a breech loading one so I can just and then close it up because this was hitting really hard earlier with um, one of my GRCBs which is the 45 degree angled uh, conduit but yeah uh, so that's that uh, today I worked in this old blue long shot um, got the original blue stock on there and um, you know, I don't think I brought the bolt in here, but I am ready to fire. Will this screwdriver work? I really don't want to do it with the screwdriver. Eh, that's fine. But it's got a really hefty spring, as well as like a recon spring and the stock spring. So um, I guess I'll dry fire it once, but it's very loud. Yeah, really loud. Hitting really hard, too. So I've got a clip here. Um, on the top, I have three of these little bootleg Steffens, they're just one and a half inch uh, streamlines they did have straws, most of them came out, then three white darts I believe it's uh, white out will be first and then two glow darts and then uh, ten elite darts, no, twelve elite darts yeah, so this has a little bit of issue with the clip release like it's not smooth and I'm pulling it and I kinda have to pull out just a little but I'll be working on that so yeah, these things, they really suck but I just wanted to try them out. And it only takes like 30 seconds. So I'll try and fire those. Oh, it fell up. Yeah, I've been having trouble with that clip release. That's why I do it when it's prime forward. Okay, here we go. There we go. I'm not even going to fire those little things. I've seen them so much. 
Uh, okay. White. Elite. Not Elite. I don't have any of that. Elite. Glow darts. Yep. Oh, what is this doing? Oh, it looks like I had it off to the side. I don't know how I did that. There we go. Here's the elite darts. Oh, okay, that's it. So, um, since it's so powerful and it's getting really nice range, um, it's, I think it's getting around 90 feet, because about 50 feet upstairs, and it's hitting the window just straight on with elite darts. Um, so, I might put a little bit of brass in there, and I'm definitely going to be shotgun. I'm going to ex uh, experiment with the PVC shotgun grip, the 2-inch PVC, and then half inch on the sides, and then get a bolt that runs through there. So yeah, I'm gonna try with that on this. But um, another thing that I did today that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, um, I got this spring with Orange Mod Works when I got my Retaliator, which was probably September of last year. So I've had the spring for a while and never done it until today, and it worked flawlessly. Uh, the only problem was getting the air stricter out. I had to, I broke like three mechanical pencils and messed up a pen even though I don't like pens getting the air strip drop because you'll know once I show you the blaster but I had an orange model work spring for it got the AR out and it fires taggers just straight it is the quick 16 so yeah it took all the locks out um, AR out as I said in an orange model work spring so it's got a pretty tough prime but there's oh wait no dry fire it yeah it's, it's, it's very loud so I'm gonna shoot a whistler. Whistlers don't shoot as hard, but they're very accurate. So I've got 16 taggers in there. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fire six single fire and then the rest uh the other ten slam fire. So yeah. Empire. Oops, that one jammed. So it's crazy loud, but it is really nice. Um, eventually, because I definitely don't want to do it anytime soon, I want to go in, I want to mess with the seal, and I want to put just like a half inch of brass in the front and ream it out really well, because I want this to be very smooth, and I'm going to lubricate everything. Um, but like I said, it's really loud. I also want to pad the heck out of the plunger. So, um, because I feel like it's going to break. I mean, I mean, it's not too tough of a prime. And I wish I could, uh, um, deep prime it. Because that kind of makes me mad. I'd love to deep prime. Um, it's very loud. I did take out the Jandor lock, but I put it in front on accident. So, when I prime back forward, it closes. But yeah. So yeah, um, this is really nice. I like it. I'll shoot an elite dart. Oh, I shouldn't have primed. Wait. Oh, fool. I keep jacking up. I'm not used to this. Uh, elite dart. That fishtailed. Which is crazy. Um, no, F it. We're gonna try one of them. I doubt it works. Well, it's not in there. Chambered. It kind of went. Meh. Um. So yeah, not aerodynamic. I don't even want to think about stepping in this. But yeah. Um. Thanks everybody for watching. Um. I don't know how many videos I have, but I was thinking once I get to 150, I'll probably quit. Not quit, but stop making them on this channel. So uh, let's go see how many videos I have. Dun, dun, dun. How many videos? 142. 
So I guess I could stop then. Tell me what you think in the comments. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching again. And see you later.